Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Hot here with part 5 of my Aurelian Let's Play for Total War Rome 2 Empire Divided. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions and to all of you that are helping each other correct their Latin or pronunciations. All greatly appreciated and I see everyone um, doing that in the comment sections, part of the wider Lionheart X10 community. Uh, and I see you guys helping each other out. So yes, uh, please do keep it coming and do check out the uh, Empire of the Sun God um, story that is being uh, written by Humble Pair, Imperator Gamer and Centurion Titus down in the comment section below. This episode uh, won't be an early hour special as we didn't quite manage to hit that like target across parts 1, 2, 3 and 4 but you guys did get very close so this will be at least 45 minutes long uh, once I shut up at the start here and get on with the gameplay. Um, Two things though before we do jump into that. First of all, just wanted to show you guys that I have named this fleet the uh, Clades Neptunis. Hopefully that's the correct way to pronounce that and apparently that is Neptune's Scourge. Um, apparently that was the name of the navy in HBO's Rome which um uh, a lot of you were suggesting. And the second thing is, uh, even more insanity um made this little back and forth uh between uh, Aurelian and uh, Mukapur about the whole dilemma we had last episode that came up on screen about uh, his helmet being itchy and I just wanted to try and do my best Bane impression to do this justice. Again, big thanks to Even More Insanity for this. So, Aurelian. No one cared who I was before I put on the mask. Mukapur, if I pull uh, that off, will you die? It would be extremely painful. You're a big guy. Are you? Uh, I don't know how that came out in the recording. Hopefully, that sounds kind of baney. Um, but yeah, that was that was brilliant. Uh, laughed my head off uh, when I saw that. So yeah, thanks for that, guys. Anyway, let's get a cracking. So we now have our Roman levies over here. Have they have their shields changed? Like the icon for that. Were they always that color? They were just red shields. Maybe the build I'm on has had an update and they've tweaked that. Or maybe some research we did. Or have they always been that color? I need to go check like the previous video. That looks different to me though from what it was before. But fair enough. Anyway, we are going to move Aurelian next turn once he's replenished up a little bit. Towards Istros to defeat the Quadi. And a lot of you have suggested, I don't know if we'll get a chance to liberate or subjugate. But that's probably what I will do. Because I don't really want to try and hold Northern Territories. I want to get over to Rome. I don't want to get stuck trying to hold and defend onto territories because that's sort of started to happen over here, although we've managed to actually um, solidify our control over the east uh, quite nicely. And we've got um, the Ferentis um, Morti, or is it Mortis? I don't know the correct way to pronounce that. I think one or two of you did comment that bit uh, in the previous video, so I will check that out for next time and make a little sticky note. Um, but yes, I've got this army which I can pull back to help defend, and that will be the army that I use to just solidify my control over these regions. I uh, want of you said you could have put cohorts in here or cohort in here but that's spelt cohorts so that's what I'm going for um, uh, in this playthrough. Um, so yeah I could have put some of them in I probably will do and some of you are asking will I put pikemen into my armies. Uh, yeah I probably will do to maybe like four units as a sort of holding group in the center that will replace my levies. Um, and what have you. In fact, in Aurelian's army, we could probably do that with these three. And then we've got the cohorts to flank with, along with the legionaries. We obviously got our army over here as well, which is still replenishing. We need to send more troops or put better troops in here. I want to build this army up for sure. Could pull back, but again, I don't want to leave Noria open to an attack, and their garrison is pretty broken, so we'll leave them there. There's not a huge else amount we can do this turn. Oh, there was a good comment that came up saying, Lionheart. Africa, the African province, surely this should be, you know, all on economy, all of these should be harbours, you could earn a lot of money from that. And I agree, however, uh, I'm not looking to do that just yet, I'm actually looking to solidify my control over Sicily, um, over Corsica and Sardinia, and then use that to leapfrog into central Italy. Um, but after that's done, I probably will then redirect my military, uh, or my navy, shipwright and military wharf um, power to another province and we'll, yeah, certainly look to readjust this province towards full-on income because I reckon that can probably earn us a fair bit. In fact, it's our third highest earning province and with those ports all set to harbours and then through trading ports we could earn a lot more money. 
So that's definitely something we'll look to do in the future. So for now, uh, let's just end the turn and see what occurs. Although one of you actually want to see the diplomacy as well to see how we're doing with our clients. Egypt, not so happy. Expansionism, cultural aversion, post treaties. I mean, if they break away, that is going to We're not going to lose a huge amount of trade, actually. But I probably will want to head back over there and put control back that way. The Palmyra is at war with quite a few factions. Um, although they've got defensive allies with two of my clients. So that's hopefully good for now. Um... In time, two things always. We're not at war with Palmyra at the moment either. Must I suffer every single messenger who shuffles over my doorstep? You have come, so speak. Mm, such sass. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, not going to do anything there. Numidia, don't really. I want to keep you friendly, but I have got treaties which upset them a fair bit. Um. Yeah, mainly you guys. It would probably help if I went to war with you. It would make both my clients happy. They've only got the one settlement. Be welcome, I suppose. But we're to cancel that. I don't think we'll get any penalty. How much are we getting from trade? Uh, 110. It's not a lot. It might be worth just sending that African Legion through there just to harass them or even my navy. But then how are you guys doing? You guys have got large armies. I guess I could just declare war. I don't actually need to follow that up. It would make these guys happy. Don't want to lose out. I don't want to lose Numidia. Um, they want me to go to war Garamantia as well. So, do you guys then have any allies? No, you don't. Okay, I'm going to cancel my trade Before treaty with you. Know that I have an Our I'm still steadfast, but you don't like the broken treaties thing. Can I declare war? Be welcome, emissary, if you come in peace. Be well, actually, would it be better come. if I... Can I do a joining war with Numidia? Would that make them happier? Welcome, worthy guest. I trust you bring words that will enhance the honor of your people in Roman eyes. Okay, we've gone down to trustworthy rather than steadfast. Because I guess it's because we so soon cancelled our treaty. Yeah, but now we're super, now we're friendly with them, which is good. Past treaties, broken treaties with them. Uh, broken treaties with them is 13, in fact. What about you guys? Oh, you like me now as well. Good. Just jump back up here, check all my clients. Egypt. Yeah, they're not being affected by using that. And these guys aren't a client. They're just someone I know. But yeah, Egypt, we do need to do something about you. My salutations and the good wishes of the Senate and people. Might send them a bribe or something just to just to keep them on side. I mean, what have we got? Alexandria. They've got two armies. Alright, alright, alright. Let's end the turn finally. Oh no, we can't do yet because we have unassigned skill. Our character. There we go. Oh actually, that's kind of kind of important. A critical success. I'd rather have that one to give us more tax rate income. Uh, military administration upkeep cost. Uh, that's if I put you in an army, so that's no good to us there. So what about this one? Corruption and spread cultural tension. Plus 15% public order penalties due to the presence. Okay, so that's, that's an enemy against enemies. Corruption reduces... Um, on that corrupt somewhere. So we want this one upkeep cost? No, we just want to increase our current one, which we can't do. That's at tier 5. Um, cultural conversion. Yeah, let's pop it in there. Sounds good for now. Cool. End the turn. We should probably get some more of those dignitaries, because we can definitely afford it. So let's look to do that. Saw a large pretender's army there. Oh, no. No, we've got to keep that war going, I'm afraid. We do have these guys at war with us. And, oh, dear, you're attacking. I've got to enter on the side of my ally. Got to keep those clients on board. 
That's going to cause some trouble in my African province. They might go and attack. Oh, they're coming back over there. We should see if we can peace out with them or something. The Buri, that is. Bandit tree, missing tax. God damn it. Okay, prophecy of victory. At the new day's dawn, the keepers emerge from their sanctum. Their interpretation of the Sibylline books is that if you seek victory, you need to create a larger statue of Victoria. Fulfill the prophecy, victory. Which the costs and benefits of fulfilling this prophecy of victory, plus 15% unit replenishment, minus 45% wealth from culture or regions, and plus 20% experience gain for all units. Organize religious uh, festivities. Burn the books, shock. Oh dear. Senate is displeased. Uh, no, you can fulfill the prophecy. We'll take the hit. It's winter anyway, so we're going to be earning less right now as well. All the set we've encountered suddenly. A load of factions in the east. Faction joins war. Oh, they're at war with the Roman pretenders. Okay, but they're at war with us as well, are they not? Speak your terms. Okay, fair enough. Are oh, there a client state of Gallic Rome? But of course. Uh, and we are now at war. No, new media is here. Oh, they're at war. No, where is it? It's this one over here then. Yeah. Is this, these guys could come and cause a lot of problem down here. So that scuppers my plans for going back on over here for a little while. We're going to need to go and deal with them. Either claim the region itself, which would actually increase our hold over Libya. So, let's do that. So, you better let me recruit some stuff. Oh, we could get mercenary elephants, which would be nice, very expensive. Uh, for now, it is just going to be the levies. Levy spam every day. And then we'll force march some more. So, we might lose... Um, Cyritus. Cyritus, rather. You guys, if they come across. Ready for battle. Should probably be ready. Let's throw in some... I prefer some skirmishers, actually. Well, the range on the slings is quite nice, but let's go for the javelins. Are you ready to serve Rome? Four of them. And they've got pikes there as well, plus whatever garrison they can muster. And military sabotage and. Inflicts major damage. You know, it's gonna be not, cannot be completely destroyed. Um, reduces equipment bonus. So, yeah, um, some of you were saying as well, Lionheart does. Uh, poison provisions and that does that not slow or stop them, but it does inflicts minor damage. All of these actions stop or have a chance to slow or stop the enemy. Um, just obviously some of them have better chances, but each of them then has a kind of other effect, which Insect Borders reveals an as yet undiscovered army, settlement or agent belonging to the target's faction. Uh, poison Provisions inflicts minor damage upon all units in the target army, and Wreck Baggage Train reduces equipment bonuses, but I'm going to give Poison Provisions. Successful. Increasing rank for my spy, so it should slow them down. Um, if we can go over to this guy. So, cannot reinforce, cannot act or move, so it's been completely stopped. Got critical military sabotage, plus they've all been weakened. Um, I think I might even move in... Oh, actually, no, if we wait here, we'll get another turn's worth of replenishment. In fact, I'm going to go into ambush stance and see if that draw them this way. This army, we've got to go back and deal with the Buri, unless I can get a peace with them. Welcome, speed. No, but I think if we maybe crush them, or likewise go and push on to subjugate them, up over here. If their army's that way, they won't have much to deal with it, then we could probably push them back. Um, I actually am not going to force much, because I want them to come and siege me. Uh, they won't be able to attack straight away. I wouldn't. Well, actually, no, they'll get ladders straight away, wouldn't they? Hmm. But last time they didn't seem to like they sieged it. To start. Um, do I want to risk losing that settlement though? That is the question. Okay, no I don't. Actually, let's force march in. 
Or, or don't march into your feet bleed, because that's also a bad thing. Are you guys also saying my a generals, if they're not of my house, I should I could always swap them out. That is very true. Um, if we had the option to do that, um, what can we do? We could... But I don't think I've got anyone from... No, I don't have any other generals from my household. So I won't be able to do that just yet. Public order for military presence, local province. Yeah, pop that in there. Um, so I've got to leave these generals where they are. So we've got... Um, where is it? Socoprius is from the very Perfectissimi. And we've got... Um, Bulkus. But I do need to use... Oh, did I not have a states? I thought I had a statesman. Did we lose him? I thought we have our own statesman that we could that we were able to use. Unless he's died. I forget what happened to him. Anyway, you... I want you to sort out public order. Um, yeah, here. We'll give you some gravitas and some loyalty. But, well, the loyalty helps. But again, I really don't think we need to worry about this at all until we're out of the protected status. And as long as they're loyal, that's still good. And plus, we hold the majority of the Senate right now. So that's all good. These guys are now happier. Uh, yeah, we could expand you. Let's go for the meeting place. It's always good. So yeah, I did see an army over here gathering up. Armoured archers. At your service. Can't harass you at all, so I'm going to stay over here. In fact, I'm going to stay there, because then I can see where they'll move. They head towards Noria. You guys are desperately replenishing as quickly as possible, so I'm just going to have to leave you guys there for now. Hold that border until we can upgrade this a little bit further. Consolidate authority. We'll be currently researching. Currently researching reorganized cohorts, um, which is over there. That's fine. Then we can get even more powerful troops. And then I probably want to do the same to yeah, the harbors to get even... More powerful ships. Uh, I think that's all we can do for now. So end the turn. No, we have an unassigned skill. For my spy, yes, of course. I forgot. Right. Anything for poisoning. Assassination through poison does work. Do, do, do. Poison wells, casualties, garrison. Yeah, that's always useful. I was always love a bit of poisoning wells. And so, yeah, you can use agents against armies and settlements. One or two of you were asking whether or not you could only use them against cities. And it's like, nope. You can use them against armies as well. It's very useful. But I think they have been nerfed a little bit. Oh, they're going to go and hit my settlements that way. Okay, we're going to have to draw them in and then smack them back. My Lord, wow, you guys want a peace treaty straight away. The sword. It is not often that he is moved to mercy. Uh, no, I'm actually going to use an opportunity to consolidate my territory if Numidia doesn't take you out first. The Senate requests that you join this war as honor I haven't demands. found this faction yet. If not honor, then self-interest should move you. Um, you like me, so I'm gonna, I'm still going to decline that, but I might do that if, accept that soon if we need to. If they're over there, call them, run away. I can go and attack them. Oh, ships at the port. Trading ships from a distant land have arrived at the port. The foreigners look like they could use a bath, but offer exotic, offer to trade uh, exotic animals. Allow trade. Um, allow them to stay. Confiscate the cargo. Send them away. Uh, let's, let's allow trade. Imagine that's going to have some kind of potential uprising issues. Fashion destroyed. Garamantia and the Colchis. Oh, cool. So I'm assuming Numidia has gone mine. Yeah, I believe that's... And they went and gained. You guys, they actually. Oh no, they've lost Sigur. Nice. Mortania have taken that from them. But they've moved up and taken this from Numidia. So it looks like they'll strike back. That's fine. Uh, my forces over here. Wouldn't mind some archers in my fleets. We're going to need a bigger fleet. That's what I'm building. So we were also talking about artillery ships, but I've already got two. Um, Light artillery, ballistas, so that's all good. Did these guys make a move? Yes, they did. Towards the capital of the region. It's got a cohort unit in there. But they'll still do big damage. So, rather than recruiting more troops, let's just force march. Uh, would it be quicker by the sea? 
No, it's just run along here because we can at least get to this settlement. We can take out their original one and then move on Kyrene um, to re-establish control over there. You guys are all happy. I would love to build you all up, but I can't right now. Um, we should probably put more powerful troops in over here. We hunger for battle. Yeah, and they've moved this army that away. Auxiliary swordsmen. Uh, I don't want to lose this settlement because that's helping us out quite a bit. Can I try and slow you down? I can. Our best chance is with wreck the baggage train. But actually, we've got a better chance. Uh, yeah, actually stopping. Okay, so let's do that. It did fail. Damn. It's only 17 of them. We have a full army here. I'm going to move over here because then we can actually recruit. Obviously, we can't if we get attacked uh, and our army is currently full. So let's just merge those guys. We didn't actually lose anyone. Um, what can we afford? We'll go for some more powerful troops, so some cohorts would be nice. We've already got a couple in there. Can afford to go for two cohort units, so let's go for you and get rid of you. There we go. Let's do it little by little. Okay, so they haven't taken the bait. So we need to move in. Actually, we can hit this army outside. And try and draw them out of the settlement. That will work quite nicely. And we go. We can night attack to... Uh, oh, that will pull out the garrison army as well. And not those guys. But let's let's take them all on. Order Resolve says we come away with 38% of our force at best. Actually, I've got to remember, sometimes this isn't... We've got cohorts now. We can do this. Come on, Aurelian. Let's fight. In we go. And if not, unleash your inner bane. Because that seems to be... <laughs> that seems to be a thing now. Start deployment. You mean their reinforcements are coming in probably from behind. Uh, let's put my cavalry over here because some hills that we can get some charges and what have you, and we might even be able to hide them from enemy sight over here as well. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Let's pop you guys in the center for now. Um, take off skirmish mode because I'd rather control that myself. And then cohort center. Oh, and you were saying make sure I take off formation attack when I flank on round with units. So I think I'll do turn off formation attack with these guys and turn off formation attack. Although you guys don't have it, perhaps. Oh, you guys do. There we go. And then, of course, Aurelian. Keep you behind. Let's keep you behind the army today. Separate cavalry detachment. March forward. And yes, yeah, if we can get the cavalry into the trees, where are they coming from? Okay, cool. Up over there. I'm gonna try and hit our left flank. That's fine. We'll be able to turn toward them if we hit these guys first. They are running, but that's okay. We've got cavalry mounted warband. And they're trying to secure the high ground, which is fair. In fact, actually, we could pull this army in over here and fight quite nicely. I'm going to suggest they tuck in that way. That will work quite nicely for us. Going to Flying Wedge. Gonna be tired though because I've been running you all the way over here. But let's see if we can't uh, have a bit of fun. Should be able to see the enemy cavalry any second. Charge them. I think they're only walking away. They haven't. Oh, they actually may not have even seen us. They're facing away from us. Oh, at the last minute they do. 
I pulled some other troops over this way, my bad. Oh crap, wrong unit. Sorry. Okay, I don't think anyone's heading over here. Cavalry absolutely crushing these guys. Out of flying wedge. Spear levy and armored Germanic swords. Yeah, so they're all coming this way. It's fine, we're just gonna rotate around. Grab a little bit of the high ground here. Maybe I haven't even hit this spear levy. Our hidden units have been discovered. These guys are going to be a long way off before they reach us. But they should move in to strike. That's good. Claim that high ground. See if we can get a charge off into them. These guys are now going to pull back and reform. At least we've taken out some of their cavalry. Actually, I should probably allow that cavalry charge completely to go on in. It's only a levy unit. Draw them out with one, hit them with the other. Do you have javelins to throw? Now you're going to be caught between my two cavalry units. Boom. Even though your spears, you should break. Right, the rest of my troops are formed here. We're winded, but that's okay. might still tweak this formation a little bit a little bit more over to the left and maybe even forward a smidge yeah they've gone let's actually yeah let's keep the cavalry hidden and in the trees over here let's just deselect the cavalry and shuffle 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 over that way yeah that's that's better we're not loads of high ground but we've got enough over on this left side which is what I'd like right let's hit fast forward so that the whole episode isn't taken up just by this battle there's still more I'd like to do mainly marching Aurelian west uh, so we're gonna need to bring him back that way anyway cavalry yeah you're fresh winded and active you guys are all fresh now They've got hurlers, so I need to leave my infantry out in front. Or my archers, rather. Or as I pull them back behind, let's see if they'll actually push towards. We may actually have to push out to them. We shall see what they do once they're all here. They've got their generals. They're going to wait for them. They've got their pikes to the back. I don't know why the AI keeps pikes to the back rather sort of forward a bit more. Um, maybe it's because they know they're susceptible to missile fire. And are they just going to wait there? They are, so my high ground advantage is wasted. That's fine, we will advance them, and I'm still going to leave my cavalry back there. I realise I've selected, deselected the wrong unit. Let's just rotate it around, rotate it around. Walk the cavalry that way, and a really yeah, he's still there. Probably gonna want to flank around with him, but I'm gonna use this war cry in the center to sort of break enemy formation first. Archers, nearly in range. I'm just gonna nudge you forward a bit more till we get you in range.
We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Legionaries! Warriors! Legionaries! Legionaries go forward. Secure the flanks. That cavalry is going to be uh, one to watch. We do have our legionaries on that side, so... Marchers are able to fire on those slingers. Let's just let them keep on firing. They're more effective than the hurlers. And obviously I've got my infantry in front with shields up. So quite effective. They must have some hunters in there as well. Oh yeah, they do. Mercenaries. Okay. Broken one unit. Take our time. doing a good job because they're protected. Cohorts are starting to take some damage. Could put them in attacking test dudo. Get your shields up for now. Once that unit breaks then we then we move it all forward. Okay, move it forward. Our hidden units have been discovered. Okay, cohorts are being hit hard now. So. The general's over on this side. You guys are in there to take off flying wedge. You guys go help out over here. Get your peeler throw. Oh, nice. Oh, nice flank legionaries. The men are wavering. Our general is under attack. Hit the pikes. We're in trouble if our centre completely goes like that. We need to get these flanking units in. I need to get my cavalry in there. Cavalry is all free. Over you go. Pull back. Right flank One of our units is broken, but these guys are in trouble. Hit him in the back. Take out that general. Weaken their falls, although we might send Aurelian round the back of these pikes. An entire unit has perished. Yeah, that broke those pikes quick. We have two pike units chasing us at the moment, so let's pull back. Come on. Yeah, my center, my cohorts in the center have, have suffered a lot there. Field of battle. This is a shameful display. Ready. 
Goes Aurelian. Focus on these guys. The pikes are just pushing through in the center. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Water resolves relatively uh, sort of accurate. One of our units has used all its ammunition. So he's definitely taking a fair bit of punishment. Let's get my cavalry in. We've broken that unit. Come on. I'm going to group you all guys together. Don't worry about the missile troops. Just flank round here. Hunters pull back over here. In we go. No time for flying wedge. Crush them from behind. Weaken their morale. Wasn't the best of charges, but two of them. One of them shaken. All oh, three of them. And onto the general as well. Shaken by that. Good. We'll keep those units engaged then. Been discovered. I'll just send these guys to charge in behind. Legionary standing strong. There we go. All of them broken. General included. All right, reform the cavalry. Reform the infantry. Okay, legionaries plus that cohort unit. Cohort. Over you go. Um, missile troops back this way. In fact, I was going to say chase after them, but... No. Oh, they've all broken. Lovely. Oh, no. They've managed to reform a unit, of un a unit over here. Okay. That's fine. He's currently winded. walk we'll fast forward it so we want everyone to recover their uh, their vigor and the recover from the fatigue they're suffering all oh, these guys are shaken now they might just break by the time we get to them only my cavalry, cavalry I want to recover and well, they've rallied over here yeah as many of the cavalry want to recover because I want to chase these guys down or oh, they're all wavering though as we get closer The mayor will just break. The general has broken. Send the cavalry to the flanks. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Our hidden units have been discovered. Can't do much against these pikes, but what we can do is move up behind them. So that they can't face both my infantry and my legionaries at the same time. So they're going to get hit one way or another. Pull the cavalry back a little bit. Our hidden units have been discovered. Oh, there's the peeler throw. Nice. Siegfried. So he's the. Garrison commander, I would imagine. Got to wait for these guys to engage because they could always turn their pikes around at the last minute. There's two legionary units going up against those pikes, so we will need to get over there. Right, those guys are set in their ways. Flying wedge, flying wedge. We can hit this one. Nice. Are you going to turn around? No, you're not. One or two of you did try. And you swear me succeeded, but I think you're going to break. That's why I'm leaving those troops in there. Yep, they've broken. Into the next wave of pikes. 
Come on. There we go. They've shattered. Continue, though, because I'm not sure we'll take out the settlement in this. The enemy general is dead. Wazza. Let's just finish them off as much as we can. They're doing quite nicely. Job done. Quit battle. Close victory. Ooh, we lost 1,322. Uh, only 10 friendly fire. That's good. We killed 3,643 of 4,000. Good. They lost in total 3,658. Aurelian, 415 kills total. Should send you packing. Four hundred fifteen, hundred thirty five, hundred fifty one, hundred seventy seven. Yeah, we lost most of the cohort. Um, yeah, that force is a pretty broken from that. Kill the captives. He's rank five now. Go for more ambushing, which I don't really want to do. Wealth from culture, construction costs. Uh, not too interested in that. What do we got here? Attrition when losses when. Besieging, went under siege, hold out time, enemy hold out time. Now that's quite useful for sieging. Replenishment rate for all units, ammunition, armor. That's quite good. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's go for that one, skilled logistican, and then we'll go towards siege mask. That's, we're going to be doing plenty of that. Might as well have them all come on in. Okay, and Balanced Dance seals the least losses. Didn't lose anyone. We lost, well, didn't lose any whole units. We lost 13 in total. Uh, we can raise it. Uh, we can subjugate. What I think I'm going to do is... Oh, no, that'll still conquer it, won't it? I'm thinking of Warhammer 2. Like, oh, I can sack and then come back. No, we'll subjugate them. Because I don't want to hold on to this. But they will likely betray me. But for now... That'll create some stability. I hope. They are hostile. I don't know how long that's going to last. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with hope. Well, they've accepted trade. For the good of my people, I say yes. I don't know how... Have had more. They are reliable. They're warlike, though. Engage in hostilities. I don't know, like, how likely they are to, to stay as client. Are you brave or foolish? But I'm hoping that secures that there. That means the other army can deal with the Buri. Uh, and with the Quad Eye, we have yeah, client state. Do we have military Guards access? The Spare my arse. Spare my arse. My today. I think that means we can move to their land as well. But we're still in it, so. Because we're going to have to move up over here to hit the Buri. Anywhere we can kind of reach. Oh, we can. Can we not go through our. Oh, we can go through the forest. We'll take lots of attrition. We really take it over here, but not as much, I would imagine. The only way it is actually going all the way up there through, not through that territory. Maybe it's not even worth it. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on that. But anyway, we need to get back and replenish and re-recruit. So I'm going to move you this way towards uh, Nodia. You'll be able to start recruiting next turn. Let's pull this spy over towards these guys. Ooh. Give me a... Nice boost to our income as well. You guys are over here. Let's take you off force march. We can push out towards these guys, but they'll build up defenses. So I'm thinking we'll do what we did last time, which seemed to work pretty well, which is going for the ambush stance over here. Risk them hitting that settlement. Hopefully they won't go straight on in. And then we'll go and take them out from behind. That's my plan. Are still moving, bring up the fleet, and end the turn. And we're back up to 5,000 income. Good, good. Okay, they're gonna go strike the settlement there. Not much I can do. So I'll wait for my other army to make its way this way. 
and reclaim it. I'll have their cohorts ready soon. You guys desperately want a peace treaty. I imagine though you're going to go straight and hit my settlement. No, you're not. You're not going to hit Kyrene. Unless you have and it just hasn't notified me. Ah, Nabatia. Attacking Egypt, I should support them. They've gone and sieged, which is fine. Reorganized cohorts. Kyrene. Healing water. Leptis Magna. Plus five sanitation. Lovely. Right, I again probably all resolve this one if it looks uh, alright. Night battle will not stop those guys coming in. Apparently we get a leadership buff if we go for this anyway. Oh yeah, 67%. Just because we're going to fight these guys multiple times. So, let's do that. Didn't lose any full units, which is always good. And it's just how, helping to sort of power level up Socoprius as well. Which is good. Um, come back, movement rate. You know what? Yes, let's go for that. All oh, the strategy just uh, research-wise. Yet yeah, we're gonna go and grab the improved harbors for now. For Wipe, them out. Wipe them out. And nine 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 nine. Um, yeah, kill the captives. More military traditions. So it's just how it helping to power level up this force, um, which is always good. Unrelenting, unrelenting force. Uh, I mean, unless I could get peace with the Gothi, unless, is that their only settlement? I don't think it is though, is it? No, they've got a few. My time is better spent feasting and hunting than listening. So be quick with your... Now that we've built, we've blasted the Burry back to the Stone Age. Come, come. Uh, Let me hear come on. talk. I warn you, I have no stomach for the meek or nice. For the meek or nice, you just want to attack me, don't you? You guys are with the Quad Eye. The Quad Eye. Yeah, we could always tell you. Go after them, would ya? War of the Burrier, they, they're like that. I, they were already, I didn't realise they were already at war. So maybe they'll go and take care of them for me. They're building back up. Can I slow you? 47, let's go with that. Ah, damn, she was wounded. Pull this one over. Because she should have a better chance. Yeah. Right, this army has been built back up. Oh, my, th yeah, they could go and hit Narona, but they should just siege it rather than anything else. But what's the army like? Seventeen still. They do have Roman legionaries. I've got a nice contingent of cohort now. Actually, I probably should have got another cavalry unit. But let's move you guys over here. Corleonis. Lyrian archers and raiders and pikemen. Oh, armored pikemen, nice. And Aurelian. Noria seems fine for now. Keep moving. Oh, push in. I'm going to risk leaving you. Move down this way. Now we need more cohorts. Uh, possibly some pikes. Yeah, I was thinking of swapping those guys out, wasn't I? So let's... Four of them will give you my six. That will actually finish them off. Yeah, then we'll pull that out soon. So we can upgrade this again if we want to, which will allow us to get the... Evocati Cohort, Roman Legionaries, Armoured Archers. So yeah, that'd be quite nice if we want to go for that. Um, do we need more food here? No, we're all good. Income, earnings is all right. Do -do 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 -do. Um, you're back from your mission. Let's actually get you to work on the Quad Eye to increase... That. In fact, we could do that with the Burry, so they'd be more open to peace. Might be an option. Uh, pop you guys back on in here. Get that replenishment in you. And I think for now we'll leave this army as is. We don't need to upgrade you just yet. Um, where is my other... So we should pop an agent in Thracia. The Dignitary, that is.
Commercial civilization edict. Merchant payoff growth per turn. Uh, what, what edict do we actually have here? We've got tax rate rather than commercial stimulation. I don't know if that would actually be better to go for. Do we actually... We don't have much commerce. No, it's all about... Well, that will be from commerce. Going for the coin maker. It's industry. But that is that is quite nice. These are all industry, so we probably should actually go for something. That will give plus 5% wealth from industry manufacturing. That is wealth from all commerce, wealth from agriculture, and that is industry and wealth from mining. Um, which, yeah, we do have a lot of that. So that's probably the better one to go for, the jeweler. I think we do have um, three of those around here. What does this one do? This one does no bonus for anything in particular. Okay. Um, so back to the dignitaries then. We're probably not going to do that, but growth's quite nice. But maybe I think this one, cultural propaganda, um, and just cultural conversion, passive, pop you in here then. Uh, we can still pop your administration next turn. We'll give us a little bit more, which is all good. And we don't have enough money now to recruit any more troops. They are seizing me here. I thought they probably were. So I'm still going to force march through here. Actually, probably would have been worthwhile bringing my fleet over, but that could have left me susceptible to this navy. We probably didn't want to do that. They, that at least defends here. How many ships they got? They have a 12. So if I were to recruit two more, it would probably be more assault ships because we've got lots of missile ships. If I get two more, then we could uh, go after these guys. In fact, in case they're going to go for Narona, we could force march this army and defend that way. And that will block at least. At least it gives me defenders to help out Narona's garrison. Good. Though that... Oh, no, they've moved away from... I just realised, actually. <laughs> Threatens Apollonia. But they've moved that army away. So what have we got? What is sanitation upset? Minus one. Okay, so we should expand that next turn and sort that out. Right. End turn. Then we will wrap this video up. When we get back to our turn. Oh, are they going to... They are sieging. I think we can take ourselves out of Force March. But we'll be able to bring my other army up behind. So it should be a smushing all round. And we'll probably fight that battle because I'd like to see how we how we fare up against that force. I'm going to take a lot of losses because they've got some good troops. They're not a full stat, but they've got 17. Perhaps in your wisdom, you might find time to attack these people. Uh, as yeah, long as your plans are not harmed. Yeah, I'd be tempted, but it, I don't, it might harm my plan, so I'm going to decline for now. I don't know really what my plans are, but no. I will speak oh, the no, hardest tier. word for a warrior. Peace. It is an honorable offer. May uh, you're attacking... I don't know why you decided to declare war on Egypt. They should be able to gain ground and go after you. Patrician report. On oh, no, the right at the garrison army. Let's run to siege. Rival banquet. You have shown class and impressed all parties, but the organizer of the banquet also gained influence. It's fine. And political intrigue. Okay. Ah, oh, seriously. Ah, oh, my diplomat has betrayed me. Penalty to all income from trading. Whoa. I'm guessing that's because they hit a couple of my settlements. Make a move down that way. Uh, you should probably try and hit them with my agent first to um, sabotage them to inflict minor damage on them. Let's give that a go. Ah, oh, failed, damn it. Well, they, did they lose? I think they lost. A, oh, no, that's from attrition, isn't it? Oh, damn, we can't make it there. We can claim Ida back, or Idera back. Yeah, let's claim this back. And we have 
really in which who we could force march. Ooh, very close. Gonna be up to the garrison to try and hold or send the army in. So with Aurelian then, let's well we're gonna swap out the last of uh, the last of his other units, weren't we? We're gonna swap these guys out for cohors or Or pikes, actually, yeah, three pikes we're going to do it. Let me know your thoughts on that, though. That's what we're going to wrap this one up for now. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.